Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you Hello. today? Hello. Hello. This is... Okay, good. Okay, so this is intermediate, right? Intermediate yes. module two, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay, very right. good. Okay, so how are you people? How are you today? Nice? Right, thank you. Tired, sleepy, happy. Uh, very good. Okay, that's nice. Okay, Maria Delmi, we have Luis Miguel. How are you, Luis Miguel? Hi, teacher. Fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, good. Uh, Okay, good. Fine. Okay, good, 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 good. We have Byron. Hello, Byron. Just confirming. Mercy Esther. Hello. Hello, Mercy. Good evening. We have. Amanda Jamilet, how are you? We need teacher. Okay, good. And then we also have Andrea Dejanara, right? And then good we evening, have- Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Herbert Miranda. Good evening. Present teacher. Okay, good. Juan Cubillas, how are you doing, Juan? Hello, teacher, I'm good. Okay, that's great. Okay, so we have what well, we're supposed to be like 18 people here. And then we have Angel Isaac. Yes, teacher. Good. Martin de Jesus. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. And Ana Martinez. Okay, I think good, um, evening, teacher. good evening. And Bairo just looked uh oh no, Bairo is here. Okay, so remember my name is uh Luis Avellan, right? I sent you the I am in the WhatsApp group and then uh Okay. Okay, so we're going to get let me show you the my platform. Okay, so this is the 
the platform. Uh, I guess that you also have a, a manual, right? And you already have the access to, to see what we have in the platform. But we need to... How long have you been studying English online? For more than a month, more than three months, more than six months. Nearly okay. one year. Nearly one year, Marie. Okay, so you started with level one, basic. Yeah. Okay, always with uh, a English corporativo too. Oh uh, yes, with with English corporativo, yeah, one, one year. Mm -hmm. And you were studying before too. Yeah, when I was, uh, since I was uh, a teenager, I started, but uh, oh, so so yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you're being, you know, on and off studying the different courses in different places. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but at least you know you are always linked to the language. Okay, okay. that's nice. And how about you, Luis Angel? What uh, has your experience in learning the language has been? I have. I have been studying for uh, six months. Okay. Yeah. Good. And how do you feel? What do you think uh, is more necessary in this moment for you guys? Speaking, reading, writing, listening. What do you think is like, you know, the, what listening. you need the most? Listening and speaking. Okay. I think. All right. Yes. Listening yes. and speaking. Okay, yes. fine. Yeah. Amanda? Yes, teacher. Listening and speaking too? Yeah. Both. Both. Okay, good. Both. And for you, Juan? I think I need practice please, uh, the listening. Okay. So then you're going to have, for example, more, uh, let's say, remember that the listening is uh, is also related. Well, everything in, in learning the language is related to the vocabulary, right? If you need to speak, you need vocabulary, right? So then you need to have, uh, let's say, a good a good level of vocabulary and if you need to listen also you need to have experience with the vocabulary if you need to write then you need vocabulary and then uh, where do we get the vocabulary obviously when we read right so reading is also an important uh, part or essential for learning vocabulary reading and listening okay uh, to learn vocabulary listening you need to have a lot of practice right you need to practice a lot and to maybe have a maybe a dictionary next to you so that you can uh, be ready you know to to understand what you are listening to okay so but i guess you know just this is only a tip okay only a tip uh, please try to participate as much as you can in the class because that will give you the opportunity to practice vocabulary, to practice the pronunciation, to practice speaking, right? If uh, you do not understand something when I am speaking, you know, just raise your hand and I can repeat or I can try to explain in a different way, right? Uh, we're going to use Spanish only, only if it is extremely necessary, right? In case of emergency, right? Uh, 
if, uh, for example, if I need to to go to the restroom, okay, and it's an emergency, and I don't remember como se dice ir al, voy al baño, then you say it in Spanish, no problem. Okay, then it's only a joke. But, uh, uh, you know, it's the, the idea is to practice English uh, as much as you can, right? So listening and also when you speak. Don't be shy. Don't be shy to practice. Uh, sometimes we don't practice because we feel that uh, I what if I make a mistake with the pronunciation? Don't worry, okay? Don't worry. Remember that this is a classroom and in a classroom, the teacher teaches and the students learn, okay? So it is valid to make mistakes. I can make mistakes too. Okay, I am a person, I'm a human, right? But I I always correct them, okay? Try to correct a mistake if I make it. Then the same with you, right? Try to feel free, okay? Feel confident, feel uh, nice, okay, to speak. Uh, me veo enojado, pero no soy enojado, right? It's just, that's my face only. Okay, so, but... Uh, you can ask questions, okay? Feel free, no problem. I am very patient. I can repeat many times the same things if they are necessary, okay? So let's try to, to enjoy the class and learn as much as you can. All right, so ready to begin? Yes. Yep, okay. Yes, I'm ready. Very good. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. That's nice. That's the attitude, people. Very good. Especially that time, you know, when we're falling to sleep. <laughs> it is good to be awake. So we have the first one. Uh, the first objective here says, in this lesson, participants will listen and practice a conversation between family members. Okay. So then, listen and practice a conversation between family members. Let's see what the conversation says. It says, turn down the TV. Okay, what is, if you see the word turn down the TV, okay, is because the volume is up. Okay, if I say turn off the TV, yes. okay, is to? To turn off the TV is no more TV. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Out. TV out. Okay. But what do you see with that verb? The verb, if I say turn turn the TV, what do you understand? Um, turn on. But it only turn? Move the TV. If it's uh -huh, something like move the TV, right? Like turn, okay, turn right, turn left. Remember in the basic, yeah, in, in the basic levels, right? So then, but when you say turn down, you know, when you say turn down, it's something like go down, yeah. uh, turn off, TV is off, off the TV. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Turn off the TV. If I say, for example, put the put the book. Put the book. Is it complete the sentence? Where? Uh -huh, exactly where. Put the book on the table. Yeah. Put the book in the box. Put the book under the desk. Okay, so there is a, sometimes a word that will accompany the verbs. Okay, listen to this and you after we will uh, I will tell you what the topic is about, but it has to do that sometimes a verb has one word, two words, or three words. the floor in a minute mom i'm on the phone all right but do it as soon as you hang up okay no problem goodness were we like this when we were kids definitely
Did you see the image correctly? No. Um, it looks blurry, right? Right. Something is wrong. Maybe YouTube looks better. Wait a minute. Let's see the image from the original, not from the link. Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason. Turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom, I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two part verb is a pronoun, Jason. Okay, this is the conversation. Okay, what was at the beginning? What were they talking about? What is the topic? Um, turn down the TV. Uh -huh. And what is turn down? It's a, what kind of verb is turned down? It's a phrasal verb. It's, it's a, a phrasal verb. That's correct, right? So here it says, Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Okay, two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Okay, now that we have this, remember, okay, you have one verb. If I say walk, it's a verb, right? Yeah. Uh, if I say study, it's a verb. If I say uh, work, it's a verb. Speak, listening, uh, jump, uh, talk. What else we have? Uh, eat, take, take a shower, take, uh, write, read, listen, uh, drive, run. Okay, all of those are verbs. But sometimes there are some actions like we were saying before that when you say turn okay turn has different meanings right for example you say turn if you're driving your car and you say you get to the intersection you say turn right turn yeah. left turn left okay yeah. so the action is to turn okay but in this case for example when you say turn down is the meaning is something like reduce the volume, yeah. okay? And then it says, for example, Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Okay, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program, I know, but it's very loud. 
Okay, I'll turn it down. I turn the TV down. That's better, thanks. Then please uh, pick up your things. Okay, pick is something that you can select, pick out, okay? But when you say pick up, okay, it's something that is on the floor or in a place and you're going to pick up. Uh, if you throw something to the floor, say pick up the garbage. Okay, if you have your shoes in the room, your shoes, your clothes, your shirt, your shorts, everything, you know, all over the room, then you say, pick up your things. If you have the children in the school, you pick up the children in the school, in your car, right? You go and get the kids and go, come back home. So this is a two-word verb. You don't you don't say pick down or pick out or pick uh, only pick the children. No, you say pick up the children. Okay, like a pickup truck. Uh, then we have uh, what else? Pick up your things in a minute, mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Hang up is another one, right? You have the cell phone. Hang up. No more talk. And. Uh, no problem, goodness, were we like this when we were kids? And say, definitely. Okay, so this is the action, right? Pick up. Uh, turn down. And what was the other one? Only, hang right? Up. And hang, hang up. up. And hang up, right? So this is... Now, uh, how do you say cuidado in English? Take care. Okay. Be careful. Be careful is one. Okay. Take care. Okay. Take care. Could be about another one. Take another one. Get up. Mm, no. Cuidado. Cuidado. Be careful. Another one. Get down. No. It is. Be uh, safe. Look at the chat. Uh, be safe, could be. But... Take it. Let me see. Oh, maybe take it. Take care. Look at look at the chat. Take care. Look out. Look out. Uh huh. Take care. Watch out. Well, yes, I mean, but yeah, yes, those take care, be careful, yes, right? But those okay. are like like phrases. But in this case, when you say look out, is when you have to be look out, uh, it means it's a warning, it's a warning, okay? Yeah. Watch out, be careful, okay? Warning. Okay, get up, uh, Luis Miguel is in the morning, okay? Or yeah. when you are sitting, Say, or you are in the floor, say, get up, okay, yeah. to to stand up, to stand okay, up. get yeah. up, stand up. Uh, for example, when you are in your bed in the morning, you get up. First, you wake up. In the morning, first, you wake up, and then you get up. Okay, first wake up, open your eyes, and then you get up, okay? So that's the other one. All right? Now, we're gonna use, for example, birds with a uh, look. Look over. Look over. Uh -huh. Look over is examined, okay? Yeah. Look over is examine. If you want to buy a, a cell phone that is second hand, a used cell phone, then you use that, okay, you look over. Before you buy, you examine. If you want to buy a car, then you look over. Okay, you look over the car and check. So that yeah. is exa examine. Okay, if you're going to buy 
uh, let's say uh, if you buy something else, then it's going to be different. Okay. So then we have, uh, what else? Okay, let me see here. Okay. So these are a, okay, there is another one you said mentioned here. Well, come off. Come off is when something separates, right? Like the wheel of a car. You can say the wheel came off, came off. Okay, that is different. There are hundreds, there are many, many, many verbs, okay, that have, a, for example, the two words. The word that has a, the verb and another word that is down, up, a, out, a, let me see what else, check out, out, mm -hmm. uh, without. So there are so many uh, verbs that you can find uh, as two word verbs. Uh, probably in the chat, in the WhatsApp, I will share with you a list of uh, some verbs that you can use. Okay, no questions about this vocabulary from here now? Mm. No? No. Okay. No question. Herbert, yes. you, you are Mr. Phil. Yes. Uh, let me see. Maria, Maria Delmi, <coughs> you are Mrs. Phil. Mrs. Phil, okay. Okay, okay. Amanda, you are Lisa. Okay, and Luis Miguel, you are Jason. Okay, read, okay. The, converse, read the conversation. Okay, uh, I begin. Yes, please. Jason, Jason, put down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very low. Okay, I'll turn, turn it down. That's better, thanks. <laughs> Lisa, please pick up your things. They are over the floor. Okay. All right, but but uh, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, rolling good, Mrs. Phil. Uh, good goodness, where where we were like this when we were kids? Definitely, right? Definitely, good. Definitely. Okay, now one more. Uh, Rebecca, you are Mrs. Phil. Andrea, you are Lisa. Uh, Martin, you are Mr. Phil. And Angel, you are Jason. Okay. Martin, you begin. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Angel, you're Jason. Oh. What is in my favorite program? I know, but it's very low. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Rebecca, you are Mrs. Phil. Jason, Jason, turn oh, down no. the... It says, uh, Lisa, please pick up. Okay. Here. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I am the phone. All right. But do it as soon as you hang, hang up. That was Mrs. Phil Martin. This is Mrs. Phil. Uh -huh, it's Mrs. Phil. 
It's okay, Marcus. Okay. Now, okay. Rebecca, repeat. Mrs. All right. Goodness. No, here. We're... All right. All right. All right. Good job. Do it as soon as you hang up. Hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness. Rebecca, good. Goodness. We're, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. Yes, we were like that, right? We were a mess. Okay, good. Uh, questions in this moment? <clears throat> no? Okay, one more. One more time. The last one. Uh, Byron, you're going to be Mr. Field. Uh, Mercy, you are Mrs. Field. Uh, let me see, we have somebody else. Ana Martinez. Ana, you are going to be Lisa. And Juan Carlos, you are Jason. Okay, Byron, you begin. So we cannot hear you. Your microphone seems to be on, but there is no audio. Hola, hola. Yes, yes, now yes. Oh, sorry. No okay. Problem. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's, it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. Uh, that's better sense. Lisa, please pick up your things. They are over the flu. In a minute, mom. I on a phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Byron, definitely. Definitely. Yes, okay, good. Okay, nice. Anna, you sounded very, very natural in the first one. You say, in a minute, mom, I'm on the phone. Can you repeat that? In a minute, mom, I'm on the phone. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. sounds natural. That's that's mm -hmm. actually the way they, they speak. Okay, good, very nice. Okay, so then uh, if you see here, you have a conversation where you can uh, see the, the, use, the use of the of the two word verbs in context, right? In a sentence. Okay, so this is the introduction. Now look at this. Here we have in this lesson, you will practice using two part uh, two part verbs to make requests. Now pay attention to this video. I hope it looks good. Put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Okay, this is the explanation how to use the verbs. Now listen. Two-part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two part verbs or phrasal verbs. These type. Turn it down. Okay. In the first, uh, in the first column, okay, the first column here, uh, the 
This is the pos the position the position of the the verb and the noun. Say, put uh, turn down the TV. Okay, or turn the TV down. The two forms are correct. The noun after the two word verb or the noun between the verb and the particle. Okay, so you can say, turn down the TV or turn the TV down, and it's correct. Pick up your things, similar, okay, at the end or after the verb or between the verb and the particle, up. Pick your things up, okay, pick, uh, pick up your things. Okay, one sounds probably... Uh, pick your things up it's like you know more emphatic but it's the the meaning is the same it's if you uh -huh. it's called pick your thing up yes the mm -hmm. two forms okay uh, when you use the noun you can use the two forms but look in the second the second column here when we use the pronoun it for singular, them for plural. In this case, is in the middle. You say, turn it down, turn it down. And pick them up. Not pick up them, right? Pick them up. Or turn it down. Yes? Questions? Excuse me, repeat. I don't understand. Okay, good. In this part, yes. the second, yes. you have the pronoun it. Yes. The pronoun it is substituting the TV. Okay. Okay, yes. when you say turn it down, is correct. Yes. Okay, but we cannot use in this sentence turn down it. Ah, no code. Okay, it's not correct. Yes. Oh, so we have okay. to use turn it down. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yes, yes, I understand. Okay, suppose okay. That there are three people in the house, right? Three people in the house. A, me, you, and one more person. Okay. And I am teaching this class. Okay, I am teaching the class and and you, one of you, in another person is in the house. And then I can hear a lot of noise, okay, from music, okay, music in the house, and I am teaching, okay? And then I said, uh, Amanda, are you listening to the radio? Hello, Amanda. Yes, teacher. Okay. Are you listening to the radio? Yes, I am. Okay, good. And they say, please turn it down. Okay. Down. Okay, turn it down. And they say, okay, no problem. Okay. Look, in the first sentence, I say, Amanda, are you listening to the radio? Okay. And then she says, yes, I am. Correct. And then I say, please turn it down. Okay. I don't, I can say, please turn the radio down. Okay. But it's not necessary because I already mentioned the radio. Okay. So, Amanda and I know what we are talking about, okay? And we know that we're talking about the radio. So that's why I use the pronoun. And then I said, uh, Amanda, please turn it down. Yes? Okay, suppose Luis Miguel, do you have, do you have your cell phone in your hand? Yeah, no, I, yes, I have. Yes or no? Yes, I have. 
Okay, then put it. Okay, yes, yes, I have them. Please put it down. Put it down. Okay, okay. no problem. On the, on the table, right? On the table. Put it down. You see? The, okay. the first sentence, do you have your cell phone in your hand? And they say, yes, I do. Then put it down. Put it on the table. Okay, so then I use in the second one, I use it. But I don't say put down it. It's not correct, right? So when we have the pronoun, we put it in the middle. Okay? Good. And then in the third one is the context. Okay, because you know the words, okay, but sometimes we need to put the words in context. How do you memorize vocabulary? It's easier if we do it in context. Okay, suppose if you say, uh, tell me a sentence. Wait. Wait a minute, just give me a second here. I'm just trying to... Excuse me, teacher. Uh, in attendance, the attendance? Uh, I'm just uh, waiting a little bit more uh, because sometimes uh, some other participants connect or log in a little late. So then I want to, in five minutes, more or less, I will be, I will take it the attendance. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Rebecca. Okay. Tell me a sentence using look up. What is look up? Look in the chat. Look up. Look in the chat. Look up. You don't know? Do you yeah. have, uh-huh. I look at you. Uh, no, no. That's, that's look at, but okay. look look up, look up. I, like a warning or something like that. No. Okay. If you don't know, yes. if you don't know, is the same that I look for? A uh, similar, similar, it's but different. I think uh, that's look over. No, but okay. uh -huh. oh. look up is similar to look for, but the difference is you look for a person, you look for an oh. object, you look for a job, okay? Uh, I... But you look up the meaning of a word in a dictionary, okay? Mm -hmm. Look up is in the gate. If you don't know, look it up in the dictionary. If you don't know the meaning of look up, look it up in a dictionary. You see, I use the okay. word look, look up is the, the word. Uh, look up the word. If you don't know the meaning of look up, look it up in a dictionary. I use it in. I the look context. up the sun. I look. Look up the sun. Look up the sun also could be. That is literal meaning. Look up the sun. Yes. Okay. That would be literal meaning. Okay. Uh, let me see. Solo voy a pasar la asistencia because I need to tell you something and I want you to have this very clear. But uh, first. Uh, let pick me up see. your clothes, please. All right. I'll pick. No, no, pick up your clothes. So how many are we in the classroom right now? 15. But, but, I, can, but I can say, look at me, no? Uh, yes, but yeah. it's a little bit different. Uh, yes. Because uh, the thing is that with the two word verbs, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, let me see. Wait, 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 wait. 
Nine to ten. Yes, we have. Nine to ten. Okay, we have uh, Amanda Jamilet. Is here. Okay, Amanda, let me see. Okay, and um, Ana Beatriz. Yes, right? Yes, I am. Andrea Dayanara. Yes. Okay. And Rebecca Abigail. No, 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 sorry, sorry. This is Mercy Esther. I'm here. Yes. Angel Isaac, yes. Byron Giovanni. Yes. Yes. Cesar Ivan. Present. Is here too. Dennis Adonai. Dennis, Dennis. I think I saw. No, it's not me. Herbert Adan, yes. Present. Yes. Yeah. Juan Carlos Cubillas. Present. Yes, I saw Carlos. Catherine Joanna. Present. Okay. Oh, yes, yeah, there. Catherine Johanna. Uh, Kenya Yamilet. Kenya, Kenya. No. Luis Miguel, yes. Present, teacher. Maria Delmi. I'm here. Oh, yes, Maria Delmi. I can see you. Martin de Jesus, yes. Present. Nuria Saray. No. And Rebecca Abigail, yes. Present teacher. Okay, Stephanie Yamilet. Stephanie, no. Present, present. Uh, Martin, yes, is here. Okay, and Stephanie, no. Okay, uh, anybody that I didn't mention? No, okay. So I'm gonna mention everyone. Look up some place to. Uh, nope. It has to be look for. Okay. Look for some place to park. Okay. Look for some place to park. Okay. The the topic of the. Two word verbs is this. If the word next to the verb changes the meaning, the original meaning of the verb, then it's a two word verb. For example, look up. Look up the sky. Okay. What is the original meaning of look up? Of look. What is look only? Mirar. Mirar, okay. If I say look up, okay, look up, you have two options. Look up the ceiling, yes? Okay. Look up the ceiling. Look up the ceiling. Uh -huh. The meaning, the uh, the meaning of look se mantiene. Okay, look up the ceiling. Ve hacia arriba, right? Look up. But if I say look up, the word. of the word okay look up the meaning of the word ahí está como indague okay so when you change the, the, the meaning of look desaparece right disappears because it's not look up okay it's similar to look out look out of the window
Okay, look out of the window. You can look out of the window. Yes? Then you look out of the window. But if I say, look out. Okay, there is a dog running to you to bite you. They say, hey, Luis Miguel, look out. The dog is after you. Okay, in that case, look out is be careful. Watch out. Okay, it's an exclamation for warning. Una advertencia, right? Warning, look out. So I change the meaning of look. Okay, when this happens in the context, then you have a two word verb. All right. Like when you say, for example, uh, another verb could be like when you say come. Okay. For example, come. What is come? Yeah, beneath. Okay. And when you say come off, vamos a la palabra que nos dio Luis Miguel, come off. What is come off? Um, the car has the car has four wheels, correct? The car. Yeah. Four wheels. Four tires. Yes. Then if you are driving, okay, very nice. And suddenly your car goes, then you fall, and then you see una llanta ya corriendo, right? What happened to the tire? The tire separated, came off, yeah. came off from the car. the car. Okay. In that moment, se cambia el, el original de come, de venir, right? And then you have come off, separated. Okay. When you have that point that the verb, you say, no, but it's the verb venir. Okay. Yeah. Pero aquí se significa zafarse. Right? Yeah. right? Came off. Nothing to do, nothing related to common. So then in that moment, you have a two word verb. Okay? And then when you have, when the verb continues with the same meaning, then is a verb with a preposition. Okay? For example, the prepositions, le dan dirección, right? Look at me. Veame a mí. Right, look at me. Okay. But I don't say, for example, okay, look for me uh, in Santa Tecla. Okay, then you go to Santa Tecla. Okay, look for me in the stadium. Look for me in the supermarket. Okay, so you go to the supermarket market and you say, okay, where is the Luis Avian? Luis, 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 you are looking for me. Okay. So that is a two-word verb. Porque usted no anda mirando por mí, usted anda buscando, right? So look for is a two-word verb. Yes? Okay, good. So remember... It's similar like back off, right? Correct. Okay, back off. Get away from me. Ah, okay. Stop there. Don't get close to me. Okay. Suppose that somebody wants to attack you. You say, hey, wait, back off. Okay. So in other words, you can say, hey, stop. Don't get close to me. Back off. Okay. Then the meaning of back off is different. Okay. Yeah. So then in that case, you have a two word verb. Correct. Okay, you can say back off. Uh, you can say, for example, uh, back up. The back up when you have to uh, put some files in the in the drive, or you need to save some information in a copy of an information that is a backup. Okay. Respaldo. Uh -huh, correct. Right. Okay, but it's uh so in, the, in that case you have this one too. You say, uh, you, I back you up, yo lo respaldo, as an action. 
Okay, I will back you up. You see, I will support you. I will defend you, right? I will, you know, I am on your side. I back you up. I support you. Good? Nice. Okay, so let's see one more. Pick them up. Let's talk about two part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know the two part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up, or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Memorize. Okay. So you see, for example, this is the, yes, somehow the, to use these uh, verbs, you have to put it in a context, right? That is the best way. For example, look at this, pick up instructions. Oops, timer. Uh, we finish this exercise and then we go. Uh, instructions look at the following pictures then complete the request with the these words more than one answer is possible for example we have oops there are too many a uh, pick up what pick up pick up the types Pick up the toys, please, right? That could be one. Okay. Another one is turn. The TV. Turn the TV off. Clean. Uh, clean. The trash. Uh, clean, 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 clean. Clean your boots. Clean yeah, your boots up. Uh huh. That could be. A uh, please put the trash away. Put the trash. Put away. The trash. Um, no, because that's guardar. Okay. Put yeah. that could be put your toys away. The books. Uh huh. Put the toys like away. That. Put the put the books yeah. away. Put the books your away. Uh -huh. Your jacket. Your jacket, uh huh. Uh, please turn down the radio. The radio, correct. Please take off. Take the off. Team. Take the off. The trash. Take off. Take off the coat. Take off the the, the coat, cup. the jacket, the, the boots. Jacket. Uh huh. Okay, take off. Uh, then we have hang hang what hang the jacket hang the jacket 
the, hang the, light. the lamp the lights uh, up or hand the jacket up yes there one is Turn please down. take out the dog please take okay. out the dog please let the dog out also oh please take out the garbage Okay, take out the garbage. Please let the dog out and turn on. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights, correct. Okay. So uh, tomorrow I will show you the the answers according to the, the to the platform so that you don't make uh, too many mistakes. Because as you can see, there are many possible answers, right? So tomorrow we're going to work on this and I will be sharing with you a, a list of two word verbs for you to have an idea right of this uh, of this uh, vocabulary right because it's very important okay, okay? so we're going to stop here for today it was a pleasure the time is flies right it goes very fast and then so i will see you tomorrow i will uh i have another class before this sometimes you know i finish at eight eight one or eight two the other one so then uh i might be connecting probably a three or maybe a four the latest right so that's why because i am coming from another class uh or if i finish on time so it's going to be from one to three minutes right that you will have some time to wait but we will replace this time at so we're going to finish at 10, 3, 10, 4, depending, right? So that you have your hour complete for the video and for the attendance. Okay? Okay. okay. So it was a pleasure, people. Thank you very much for your time. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Thanks. Go and rest. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.